Ryan and Summer, and for the past year we have been living in this 2001 Shasta Freeport. One year ago we renovated this RV, and today we're going to show you how it's held up. We painted this RV entirely by ourselves. Uh, we did that by taking a heat gun, removing all the decals off of the side of the RV. And then we rolled some exterior paint onto it. Now this is definitely a budget paint job, but for the most part it's held up really well over the past year. The only problem we had is probably uh, some chips around high use areas. Um, these are actually caused by some ice. I was trying to open it, so it's kind of my fault on that. Um, but yeah, mostly it's really solid for what it is. When we first purchased this RV, it did have a little bit of delamination, as many older RVs will. Uh, you can kind of see where the fiberglass is coming up in some spaces around the windows and up here. Uh, and it's gotten a little bit worse over the past year. Uh, we had some really heavy rains in the p and and that kind of affected it a lot. So we plan to get that fixed in the future. <laughs> okay, so our engine has held up really well over the past year. We had no problems with it when we purchased it, and we still haven't had any problems with it. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> so we, all we have done is just regular maintenance, such as oil changes and uh, things of that nature. But still kicking great. <laughs> the biggest problem we faced during our year of RVing is definitely our generator. So very quickly on on our journey, um, our generator stopped working. So initially it was the fuel pump and then we found out it was the starter and to replace that it would cost us way too much money. So oh, what we did is upgraded. Uh, we got a second battery and we now are running solar panels on the top of our roof. So that's how we kind of combated with that and it's working out great for us so far. On the inside you can see it's mostly the same as when we renovated it a year ago. We've had a few little changes, one of the biggest definitely being the driving area. This was a project we took on a few months ago. Something that we kind of wanted to do a year ago when we were doing the remodeling but we didn't have time so that's definitely been a big upgrade for us. We also did all of the painting inside ourselves. We painted all of the walls, all of the cabinets. It was a huge like three day job, but it totally paid off. It's held up super well. We only have a few minor chips and really high use areas. One of our big problem areas is definitely the fridge. Of course, we're constantly opening and closing. So this handle has needed touched up several times. But other than that, it all looks super bright in here, super white still, and we are so happy with that paint job. One of my favorite things we did in the RV was this herb garden area up here and we've definitely collected a lot more plants along the way. We've lost a couple, especially when we were um, in Portland this fall when it was super cloudy and rainy. It was hard to kind of keep them all going, but we've added some and kept a lot of the originals alive. So it's been super awesome having this area up here. Another one of my favorite projects in the RV was this cedar shower that we built. This was something that I absolutely wanted to do and we got quite a bit of hate. People thinking that it wasn't going to hold up, but I can say a year later and a lot of showers, it is still in the exact same condition it was before. We use cedar specifically because it was water resistant. We also protect it with this little clear liner here and we've had no issues with molding or anything breaking down. It's been an amazing shower plus opening it up like this has given us so much room um, versus that tiny cramped RV shower experience. Probably one of my personal biggest regrets is not investing more in the floor. We did a really cheap um, laminate floor and it's held up okay but definitely in some places where it was really warm we had some problems with it peeling up and you can see some small little gaps in the floor now. Um, I think if I would do it again I would invest in something a little bit more durable. Maybe that's something we'll upgrade in the future. All in all, we are so happy with how this renovation turned out. Um, living in it in the past year, it has been amazing. It's really the perfect size for us. We, you know, customized it to be our perfect home. So 
that's kind of what it's been for us and there's not much that we would change about it but the fun thing about tiny homes is you always can find little tiny projects to work on along the way so there might be a few more upgrades coming in the future but we are so thankful that we have this RV to live in and it's really kind of our, our dream home for now. Absolutely. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.